Good morning, my britches. It is Britmas day six, and it is currently seven o'clock in the morning. I just got home from getting out of work, so I do work overnights. If you didn't know that, so I am dead ass tired right now. So not really much is gonna go on today because on overnights I literally sleep all day. I get up, I'll do my workout and stuff like that. I was thinking maybe my winter skincare must-haves, or if I wake up early enough, maybe I'll do like a makeup look or something. So. Not really sure the plan, it'll depend on how long I sleep, but we shall see where the day takes us. So, as for right now, I'm gonna go knock the fuck out because I'm dead ass tired. All right, it's 3.15 and I just woke up. This is the reality of what I look like when I just wake up, and now I need to drink my pre-workout, go down and work out, and do something, oh my god. I swear to God, every single day I run out of more and more counter space. <laughs> oh my God, this floor needs to get done. This kitchen needs to get done. It's driving me crazy. So I just got out of the shower, clearly, and now I'm drinking my post-workout, but I'm going to insert a pre-recording of my winter skincare must-haves just because I don't have any time to film anything today because I'm already running late and I still have to edit and upload this before I leave for work. So I hope you guys enjoy that and that'll be it after that. I'm sure I'll have some sort of an outro, but like I said, it was pre-recorded, so I didn't really know when I was gonna upload it. So it's like my typical intro and outro. So again, I hope you guys enjoy that and I hope to see you guys tomorrow if I don't say that at the end. <laughs> what the fuck is up you guys? If you're new here, hello. My name is Brittany. I probably looked a little similar to what I've looked like in my previous videos, but we ain't mad about it. But today we are going to talk about my winter skincare must-haves. Now, when I'm focusing on winter skincare, I'm looking for hydration. Give me all the hydration in my life. So the products that I'm going to talk about are products that I actually use and love and I would definitely recommend to you guys. So. Let's just dive right into it. So the first one up is going to be a body wash. Now this one I love because it is an oil base. So this is the Lexitan Almond Shower Oil. I've used this for years now. This does have a tendency to break me out sometimes, but I find that during these months, like the winter months where my skin is more dry. By the way, I forgot to mention, I do have like combination skin, but towards the winter time, I do have more normal skin because of the products that I use. But normally I am combination skin. So back to the Almond Shower Oil. I really love this because it just gives me that extra hydration because it is an oil base. It just makes my skin feel so good. I'm going to be repeating myself a lot of the time because I'm just going to say it's so hydrating and it makes my skin feel so good. But this is like my number one for shower gel right now because I love that it's the oil base. So it just gives me that little added hydration that I look for and that I need, especially in my legs. Like when I shave, my legs get so freaking dry like they will be so ashy and this just really helps in the showers I really want to get the almond shower spray it's like a body spray it's like an oil spray I should say that Lexicon offers as well and it smells just like this like this stuff smells so freaking good I love the smell of it I love how it makes my skin feel so this would be the body wash that I would recommend if you guys have more dry skin it's not going to do everything that you need for your dry skin but it definitely helps especially as like a shower gel so next thing is going to be after I were to get out of the shower so this is still going to be like body care so this is going to be the lotion that I love using during these winter months Normally, I really love the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, but during the winter months, that scent's really just not my vibe that I'm going for. So the one that I've been using is from Kiehl's. This is the Creme de Corpse. I love this, but I wanted the scent of it to smell like the one that's in the pot. I kept hearing amazing things about this product, but people kept saying it smells amazing. Like this one here does not smell good at all. If anything, it smells like it's unscented or it has like a really light scent to it, but it doesn't, to me, smell good, but it works amazing on the skin. If I were to recommend any, I haven't tried it yet, but I love the scent of it. If you are like a scent person and you want your lotion to smell good, they have one of these, it's in like a pot. That one smells so fucking amazing. It's just like vanilla coconut. It smells so good. I actually was smelling it in one of my vlogs. I think like the first Disney vlog that I posted, 
that was the one I was like, oh, okay, this is the one people are talking about. But I ended up picking up this because I don't really like hot body lotions. Like, that's the one thing I would change about the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream if I could, would be, I wish it was in packaging like this because I love having the pump. I don't feel like I waste as much product. I can just monitor all around the product that I'm using. So I prefer this. I really love the consistency of this. Another one that I really love is the Lush Cosmetics Sleepy Body Lotion, but it does give you more of that like oily consistency on your legs, so I feel like that's better for like spring, summer. This gives me the hydration that I'm looking for for these winter months. So if I was to pick any of them for this time of the year, it would be this one or the one that came in the pot if you're a person that likes your body lotions to smell good. So definitely recommend this. I love it. It's just I wish it had a better scent to it. All right, so moving from body care, I'm going to move to my face. So I am like a skincare freak. I love having a good skincare regimen because I have very problematic skin and having a good skincare regimen has really changed my skin. So the first thing I wanna mention is the face wash that I use. So I've been using this for probably over a year now and I fucking love it. It's perfect for all year long so I buy the big bottle of it. This is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Face Wash. I love this stuff. I mean, you can see I've used <laughs> this much of it. I keep one of these in my shower, a smaller one in my shower, and then I keep this one actually right on my sink because I use it to help clean my brushes, clean my sponges, but I use it 90% of the time on my face, and I love it. I use it every morning and every night. It gives you that little bit of hydration. It doesn't like completely hydrate your skin. You're still going to want to use like a moisturizer and stuff like that, but this has been the best cleanser that I have found. It's so gentle on the skin. And like I said, I have like problematic skin. My skin doesn't react to it or anything like that. It's just super gentle on the skin, so I love this and I love just the, the feeling that it gives my skin. So I definitely recommend that if you're looking for a really nice facial cleanser. But on the topic of facial cleanser, I wanna talk about some other cleansing oils or cleansing balms that I really love because these have really helped with not only makeup remover and just overall like double cleansing, these give me such nice hydration even though I do them before my face wash. So I will go in with these first and then I will go in with my face wash, but these still help my skin get that little bit of extra hydration even though you're like pretty much like cleansing it off. I don't know what it is. It's just having these products have really just helped improve my skin and especially like wearing makeup and stuff. If you don't wear makeup, I don't feel like they're really necessary, but if you are a makeup wearer and like a full face beat wearer, these will change your freaking life. My favorite of the two is the Tatcha one. It's the One Step Camila Cleansing Oil. I just like the overall aesthetics of this more. I like how it has a pump so you can monitor your product. Like I've had this since last year at the VIB sale. I hauled it on my channel, I think, and I've had it since then, and it's lasted me forever. And I only use it when I'm wearing makeup, or if I see that my skin's really dry, I will put like one pump of this and just work it into my skin. It makes my skin feel amazing, and then I've also been trying this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Now, I love this as well. It works really well. It's just I prefer the oil consistency over the balm. So if you're a balm lover, this one's amazing. Like when you rub your hands together, it turns more of like an oil base for this one. But I just like how this is like a luxury facial oil, but it's a cleansing oil, if that makes sense. So I would definitely recommend both of these. I know a lot of people got this in their BoxyCharm. So if you have not tried this in your BoxyCharm yet, you better get your shit together. But if I was to pick between the two, I would choose the Tatcha Camila Cleansing Oil if you're looking for even more hydration. I feel like this hydrates a little bit more than this does. All right, so after we're done cleansing our face, I'll move on to my facial spray. Now, I've been using this to see if it's any different from the SK2 Water Essence, and I think this, if anything, is better. So this is the Time Revolution, the first treatment essence mist. It's from Misha, I get this off Amazon. Now, I don't think this does anything crazy for hydration. I think this really helps balance my skin because when it gets really cold out, I have the tendency to get really red here and then right on my nose. This just really helps balance everything out. I don't know what the hell is in this stuff, but it works amazing for the skin and it just, if anything, it makes everything work better. Like that's the purpose of an essence is to really help everything like penetrate your skin more. I love this and I also love that it's a spray. It's like an aerosol spray. Like, that is just so luxurious. I'm gonna just, mmm. It's just like the most fine mist, and I think this is honestly identical, if not better, than the SK2. Like, I say this is better because I like how it has the spray, whereas the SK2, you have to either put it in your hand or put it on like a cotton pad and press it into your skin. This, I just go shh every single day, every single night before I do my oils and stuff. 
I fucking love this stuff. So it's like 18 bucks on Amazon. Very well worth the price. And you get Amazon Prime two-day shipping if you have an Amazon Prime membership. <laughs> All right, so after I do my essence, I would move on to my oil. So I have not purchased the full size of this yet because there's another one that I want to try. But since I haven't tried the other one yet, I wanted to recommend this one to you guys. And that is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Now, I got this when I was on vacation because my skin was so freaking dry. So I wanted to just get a like little size of this because I do plan on getting the Marula oil from um, The Ordinary because I hear they're very comparable, but I haven't tried it yet. But this facial oil is amazing. If you need an intense amount of hydration, this is such a beautiful facial oil. It's just very expensive. That's the only reason I'm trying the ordinary one is because it's like $7 versus $40 for like a, not a, not a mini size, but like the smaller size. And then the big size of it is 80. This I paid $25 for, for this. And then like another Drunk Elephant product, but this was why I purchased that little mini set. So this stuff I think is amazing. I've used it, I had a whole bottle. I'll have it in my next empties video. Such a beautiful oil. If the ordinary one doesn't work out for me, I'm definitely going to buy another one of these because I think it's such a beautiful facial oil. And even if you're oily skin, if you look at an oil and you're like, there's no fucking way I'm putting an oil on my face, sometimes your skin is oily because your skin is overproducing oil. So I always had oily skin as I was growing up and I never could figure out how to manage it. And until I started like a full blown skincare regimen, I really balanced my skin out because as you're overproducing oils in your face, your skin's going to be oily. But once you're replenishing those oils that your skin needs, your skin will really balance out. At least that's by my experience. I think skincare is amazing. I love skincare. I look forward to it every single night. So I will preach every damn day that skincare will change your life because it's made such a difference for my skin. So after I did my oil, I would go in with my moisturizer. Now I have moisturizers and masks in here. So I'm going to hit the moisturizer first. So I've been loving this one so much. I used to use the Belief Aqua Bomb. I used to use the Belief True Cream. I love those as well but I love this so much more. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, especially for winter time. This is an amazing face cream and it's a cream consistency. It's not like a gel or anything. It's a thicker cream, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. That's why I really like it because sometimes thicker consistencies can look really oily on your skin. They could just feel really heavy. This feels like there's nothing on your skin. So I've used damn near all of this. I actually think I'm going to get, there's a, um, gift set at Ulta. It has a full size of this, a cleanser, and another product in it for like 48 bucks. This alone is $48. So again, skincare, especially now, this is the time to buy it because almost every single set has gift sets. Drunk Elephant is another brand. They have amazing gift sets, but I don't know if they have any with like the full size of this. But if you've been looking for skincare, now's the time to buy it. But back to this, I think this is amazing. I love it. It gives my skin so much hydration. But the next thing I wanted to talk about is like, if I was to recommend one thing out of everything that you need here, it is this freaking face mask. This is technically a mask. It's the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is the best product I've ever put on my face. Like take away the oil, take away the essence. Don't take away the cleanser because I think you need a cleanser. But you could just cleanse your face and put this on top of it and your skin will be totally different. I've never really noticed an instant difference with a product until I use this one. I purposely bought this in Disney because my skin was like freaking out from the climate change and flying and everything. So my skin was like breaking out, I was getting really dry, so I bought this, I used it once, and like my skin was totally different the next day. And the main area I noticed a difference for this is my under eyes. I was actually using this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I've been using this for about two or three months now, it's almost gone. I was going to do a comparison video like before and after with this, but I don't notice like a huge difference. As soon, I'm telling you, as soon as I put this on my eyes, because you can use this on your face and eyes, I notice a difference in my texture. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I think my skin looks a thousand times better and that's because of this product. That's the only thing that I've changed since I bought this and my skin just feels like it's totally different. I'm going to have a Sephora haul and I'm probably going to ramble about the same shit with this product because I just bought this not that long ago and this knocked my freaking socks off. Like, I don't feel like you need both of these, but if you have a moisturizer and then put this on top, it's just like, you're done. It's so amazing. This is such an amazing product. Like I said, if I was to recommend anything from this video, this is it. This is such a bomb ass 
face product. And then I have one more face mask I want to recommend. I would still choose this one over this next one, but I feel like this would probably be better for those with oily skin because it's that gel consistency. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. Now, Belief is a brand I love their skincare products. Their skincare has done so many good things for my skin, and this is the same exact thing. Like, it is such a beautiful product. It smells amazing. It's that jelly consistency, and this has lasted me for so long. I bought this as soon as it launched. Like, as soon as I saw Belief was coming out with a sleeping mask, I was just like, yes, bitch, give it to me. Put it in my cart and take my money. I had to buy it, and I've had it ever since then. And I use this quite often. Like, I use both of these. Like, I use at least, like, one a day because I love just that extra layer of hydration. But again, I would choose the Summer Fridays one over this one, but I would say if you have oily skin, maybe go for this one. But I would still say that both can work for oily combination dry any sort of skin, I feel like both would still work. I think with just dry skin, this will give you a little bit more than this one does. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is lip products. So the main thing that I need in, obviously, the winter time is hydration. But not only hydration, I need a lip exfoliator. So my favorite one of all time is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. He has just the most sugary, delicious lip scrubs. Like, they taste amazing. They feel amazing. The biggest thing I need this for is just to get all the dry skin off my lips. And then I will go in on top of that with my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now, I prefer this, honestly, during the daytime, but day and nighttime, it's amazing as well. I also recommend the Rodan and Fields Lip Renewing Serum Beads, but those are quite expensive. And I feel like if you had this, you really don't need both. And this is like 20 bucks, and this lasts forever. It's available at Sephora, so it's really easy to get. I know with the Rodan and Fields ones, you have to go through a representative and all that sort of shit. Nobody's got time for that. So I would definitely recommend this. I love that it's easily accessible. I love how I can use it morning and nighttime. It smells amazing. I hope that they come back out with those like limited edition scents because I love this one. It's like a strawberry bubblegum scent, but they had like apple, grapefruit, vanilla. I am here for all of that. So this is like my go-to lip cocktail right now. I've actually been trying out the Jouer like lip balm. I don't know the exact name of it, but I've been trying that one out and I really do like that as well. But if I was to say right now, this second, these would be the two lip products that I would strongly recommend. So that is going to be everything for my winter skincare must-haves. If you guys have any products that you guys love or if you guys love some of the stuff that I mentioned as well, leave it in the comments down below. Let's interact a little bit. Let me know because I'm always looking for new skincare as well. The next thing that I want to try is the Summer Fridays, like the, it's like an exfoliating mask. That's the next thing on my list. I really want to do a video like holiday sets that I wish existed. I think that's going to be my next video that I film. So stay tuned for that. Leave any comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace!